All right, and now once we're familiar, uh, we can remove item. Let's also do the same thing with increase and decrease. Now, in order to make things interesting, I already destructured the payload. So remember, we're getting the action object and we're looking for the payload. So in this case, I just destructured that. In the case of increase, we go to state, card items, find. So we get that specific item. In this case, where the ID matches, unlike the filter approach. And then I just want to update the amount. So every time we'll click on the increase button, we'll increase the amount of specific items we have in the cart for this phone or that phone. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. And eventually, of course, this will also affect the amount as well as the total. And yes, I'll set them up pretty much right away since the functionality is exactly the same apart from the fact that in this case we increase and in this case we decrease and like i said if you want to challenge yourself set up a toggle functionality where you look for one more value increase or decrease which of course is going to be in the payload and then depending on that set up the functionality but for now let's just worry about these two so we're going to navigate to cart slice and then right after the move item, let's say here increase. We'll set up our function. We'll say state. Like I said, we'll right away look for the payload. We'll set it equal to. And when it comes to functionality, we want to go with const. First, we want to get that cart item, the specific one where the ID matches. And we can do that with state cart items dot find then let's pass in the callback function let's say item and then item id is equal to payload and we'll pass this in as an object so it's going to be payload dot id and then let's increase that amount so now i'm accessing that one specific card item I have the amount property and please don't confuse this with the total amount so that's the total with all of the items that we have in a cart. When we are talking about this cart item amount property, we're talking about this one over here for that specific cart item. And we'll just say cart item amount. So whatever it is right now, plus or yeah, in this case, plus one. And then in order to set up decrease, we want to copy and paste. You want to go with decrease still going to be a payload okay all of that is awesome we'll still look for the card item the difference here is minus one and then we want to add them of course to our exports so let's say increase decrease and we want to navigate to the card item we want to import the other two as well so we want to go here with increase then decrease both of them and first let's set up the increase because for a decrease we'll have to add a little bit more functionality so let's go with mount button let's say on click we already have dispatch so we don't need to worry about that one and we just want to pass in the increase so we're going to go here with dispatch and then inside of dispatch let's pass in the increase and like I said, in order to make this interesting, I'm going to go with an ID. Now, normally, if you're setting this up as an object, of course, you'll pass in more properties. But in this case, I won't do that. And for some reason, oh, yeah, my bad. So I set up the import in the wrong place. Let me add a comma here. And hopefully everything is going to work. Yep, looks about right. And if we try this out, notice how again, we're changing this value over here for each item. And again, the functionality here is following where we look for the payload, which in this case is an object. That's why we go here with payload.id, just to showcase that we can pass in more data. And then we just increase the amount. And the same thing we can do with decrease. So let's go back to the card item. I'll take this entire thing for the on click. We'll copy and paste. And now let's go with decrease instead. So say decrease again, we pass in the ID that doesn't change. It's 
refresh so we start from the scratch and now notice how we can decrease the amount now the problem is that we're going negative so i think it's going to make a bit more sense if we'll check for the amount and again we're talking about the amount of specific item not overall amount and if it is equal to one we want to remove it since that way we'll have zero items in the cart and if it's bigger than one then of course we just want to run the decrease so i'm going to go back to this on click and we'll set up if amount is equal to one that means that we're pressing the button amount is already equal to one and if that is the case well we might as well remove the item from the cart correct we'll say remove item and we'll just pass in the ID. now we do want to pass the return right after because you don't want to continue reading the code and if the amount is bigger than one then of course we just decrease the amount so let me go here let me refresh and notice i can increase i can nicely decrease so all of that is working but the moment i get the amount of one if i will click the decrease i'll automatically remove the item from the cart 